This is your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot, and um, up. Oh, this is gonna be not rushed, but it's gonna be expediently. Ain't gonna do too much raining. It's gonna get the overall message out. Uh, Cause I gotta get to work, work a double today. Um, this two of wands business is <clears throat> it's a lot. So. Um, Excuse the tone, voice, sleepiness, grogginess. It's four in the morning right now. But um Yeah, let's just get this in. Um Got a lot of videos I gotta do when I get home at night. And in the morning before I go back to work. What is that? Saturday? What's the day? What is the day? I swear. Uh, uh hold on one second. Uh it's Friday. Okay. Yeah. Um Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm off. And um so cool. I'm off tomorrow. Thank you. Lord. <laughs> Alright, bet. So yeah, just knocking these out today. Uh I'll your video. You will have it in the next twenty four hours. Said that. Definitely gonna be done, trust me. Um just forgive me. It's a lot going on on the work front. Nothing bad. Um not even nothing really pinnacle wise. It's just wands right now. Like I said, you got two of wands, you got the three of wands, you know. Two of wands that's stabilizing yourself. That's the divine masculine's position. That's doing what you need to do. If you're doing two of wands and three of wands, it's like I'm doing, you know. Um that's to put it in a good equivalent, it's like the single mother raising like three kids. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot. I don't know. I ain't got no kids and I was raised by a single mother, so I know about it, but I don't really know nothing about that. So it's just like, you just got to maintain, spite of. So it's a lot, though. <clears throat> it's a lot when you're building an empire, man. Especially when it's just you and a group, a small group. I'll dive into that later. Let's get into it. <sighs> so what are you going to rant? <clears throat> Twin Flames in Union, Reunion, Recognition. October 28th through November 4th. Just like the Divine Feminine reading, it's just giving you something to check out in the beginning of the week, see how the end of the week ends, just to balance out energies. So it means it's super duper duty fresh. <laughs> Let's get with it. So, got the Divine Masculine uh, at the bottom, Divine Feminine at the top, overall energy, bottom line energy. It's only once really divine card out here and that's this three of wands business and it's in the divine masculines row and you know what let me just pick out the clarifiers already you know what i mean so i can really get very descriptive i'm really hoping to put out some more divine cards out here other than this three of wands but it looks like this journey is dominating a lot of what's going on between you and the masculine right now. See, unlike the separation reading, you guys are in union. You guys are a team. You guys are riding together. You know what I'm saying? This would be the equivalent of, like, for all you uh, game freaks out there. It's like Contra, man. Any Super NES, Super Nintendo two-player games. It's different from Sega two-player games. Because by the time Sega and Nintendo 64 came out, you know what I mean? Things kind of got complex. It's nothing like the arcade the, the, the Nintendo, the Super Nintendo, as far as Player 2. Player 2 was, Player 2 games was meant for systems like those. You could really beat the whole game together, you know? Like, it's one accord. There is no split screen. <laughs> it's one screen, both y'all on one screen, hopping up and down, doing y'all thing. That's really what a Twin Flame Union is. You know what I'm saying? A, 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 a 2 to 16-bit two-player game. With no graphics, you dig what I'm saying? Let's get up in here. Overall energy, five of wands, back and forth conflict, being clarified by the three of pinnacles. I take this as you two squabbling. Not bad squabbling. Not miscommunication squabbling. Not squabbling that's going to tear things apart or keep you guys separate or risk the run of separation or no crap like that no this is just squabbling two people really trying to figure out how they're going to work together on something once again it's the equivalent of a group project high school junior high 
even elementary, I hated group projects. Why? Because I'm the smartest motherfucker in here. Not like on paper as far as grades and shit, but as far as sense, common sense, critical thinking, analyzing. I could do the project myself, be done in the next 20 minutes, and still got time to spare by the end of the class. I could write a rhyme or something. You know, that's how I was with your boy. I work better alone. But it's like you in a group. And usually when I'm in groups, I'm doing everything. They just putting their name on the paper. Because I ain't finna sit and wait for them to bounce ideas around like the Three Stooges when I already got the plan. And I just go ahead with it. And it's easy as one, two, three. For them, for me, it's too much. And I got other people sharing credit for my shit. Don't like that. But that's how one of y'all are feeling in this little demonstration here. Like y'all doing more than the other. I think I said it in the last reading. Do not ever feel entitled to shit. Okay, unless it's yours. Unless you really did that. If you didn't, or you're taking credit for something you didn't do. Like your masculine paying something for you. And you bragging like you took care of it for it yourself. You ain't really got to tell everybody that he paid it for you. But at the end of the day, you ain't really got to be telling everybody that you paid for it. Team effort. Squabbles trying to get to the next stage. Which is normal. Bottom line, we got four of cups, the world, and we got six of pentacles, stabilizing. Y'all got to stabilize yourself in the world. Let me pick a clarifier for that. Why is it imperative for you to really stabilize yourself in the world right now, guys? Because we got the devil out here, okay, in the world, trying to knock y'all off y'all axis. Best way he can creep in and knock y'all off y'all axis is in the middle of y'all squabbling and shit, in the middle of this here. Back and forth. Your feelings hurt. He feelings hurt. He's taking a tone with you. You don't like. She's coming at you kind of ignorant and disrespectful. And you taking a break from her. She's taking a break from you. And y'all taking a break in the same house. Once again, this ain't breaking up a no relationship type of squabble. This is like, you know what? I need some space. I can't even look at you right now. Because y'all trying to work together for a common cause. That's you here. That's him here. Y'all working towards a common cause. You know what I mean? And it's just like. Y'all better get on top of that. Because the way y'all going at it right here, it ain't bad. But the way y'all squabbling, it's either from an outside source or y'all going to leave y'all self open for an outside source to expose y'all. It's like boxers. You want to saying, open motherfucker up. You know what I'm saying? Jab and boom. Open his ass up so you can catch him with one of them right hooks or something like that. You know what I mean? It's a, it's a style to it. Okay? Coming into the situation of divine feminine. You have the Queen of Swords being clarified by the Ten of Cups. So this is Lucy Lucar being clarified by emotional fulfillment. Pick another card. Just, I mean, there are a few ways I can go with that. I just want to get certain. The King of Swords. The King and the Queen of Swords. And this King of, I mean, this Ten of Cups is in the middle of it. So I just take it as like right now, the both of you. Well, this is you. Feminine, you, specifically. You're really going to have to get on some Lucy Lu shit. Cut anything and everything outside of what's going on in your demonstration. Focus on your mask and focus on your journey. That's what you need to be focused on. You don't need to be focused on anybody else or anything else or any distractions or any type of toxic people. Like with this devil energy down here in the world right here in the midst of the stabilization, stabilization y'all trying to do, like I said, this is just like a instigator outsider getting in your ear about your husband or getting in your ear about your wife or getting in your ear about your twin that's got y'all tweaking or your family getting in your ear about something that they claim they seen when y'all don't feel it letting somebody outside the mix in y'all mix from y'all squabbling and taking breaks from each other in y'all own mix just opening y'all self <laughs> opening y'all self up for the devil to come here and hit y'all with, with a rope with a rope like straight up you gotta know that everything is fine you got to know that everything you need, as far as yourself, you already have feminine and you had feminine. You led that to lead your masculine in. Why the fuck would it be a problem with that now? It'd be a tower moment for you to let karma from fucking with outside people derail y'all. It'd be fucked up to let God pick whatever decision that y'all trying to make here. Once again, God is going to make it to where it's going to work out for y'all, but it's not going to be to y'all liking. And your spirit heading is feminine. That's why the karma is going to sit on you. 
because you're the three of wands. You're supposed to be spearheading it, but the divine masculine is the one with the three of wands, and it's a block up. I'm taking this, coming to the situation. Divine masculine, like I say, he needs to get on path, but there's a self-imposed prison that's sitting in front of this path. Eight plus three is 11. I have to get some insight on this. Romeo card. So I just take it as like coming into the situation, even the divine masculine is over romanticizing this journey thing, or you he thinks you've over romanticized this journey. Three of Wands thing. Three of Wands, like I say, that's your position. That's shit you saying you doing, feminine. Okay? So it's like Either you ain't doing nothing and he see you not doing it and he feels he's the one that's really on a journey and you're not because of what you're doing. That's his self-imposed prison or self-imposed thoughts, swords or thoughts, his self-imposed thoughts on you. And the Knight of Cups, that's like romanticizing. Maybe he could be over-romanticizing over the fact that that you may be romanticizing the journey. And what I mean by romanticizing the journey is just building it up too much. High expectations, really. You know, like uh, if I said with the whole tour thing, like, oh, you just said you were just going to tour just to say it. I'm like, I don't say things just to say things. <laughs> like, first off, I'm not supposed to let the left hand know what the right hand is doing, especially publicly, because, you know, people jock all the ideas all day. But like I say, it, it fits to the person that you are. I have no kids. If I quit this little job and get back to my three of wands permanently, it's in my hand, permanently, I can do whatever I want to do. I could live on the road for the rest of my life if I felt like it. I could do that. <laughs> so it's really what you got going on that is tailor-made to the situation that you got going on. You feel what I'm saying? Don't, don't allow outside people who think they know you, think they know the flavor of your Kool-Aid, don't even know the flavor, to Tell people what your flavor is when they don't know. And just going on a campaign to just put fault in what y'all got going on. Once again, devil does shit like that. Okay? Y'all squabbling. This is the devil card right here. This is in the middle of y'all stabilizing. In the middle of y'all stabilizing. In the world, devil want to pop up. In the middle of y'all squabbling. Y'all back and forth. Like I say, y'all going at it. It's like y'all going at it. It's like y'all arguing in public. People wondering what the fuck's up with y'all marriage. Like, damn, are they okay? They were arguing a little hard. They don't know y'all just communicating. But look where y'all look. You know what I mean? It's like you're showing holes. You're showing flaw. If people are trying to come in and, you know what I'm saying, sneak through the cracks. That flaw. Get on that. Don't let nobody bust y'all open. And don't be squabbling so much y'all put distance between yourself for people to come between y'all. Feminine, you as far as yourself, you're gonna have to let some shit go and uh, you're gonna have to manifest something. Once you let it go, you're gonna go to the five of pentacles, one plus four, that's five of pentacles. I just, it's just dark night itself. You need to let something go so you can be uncomfortable for a little bit so things can get back stabilized. Pinnacle, pinnacle, six, pinnacle, stabilizer, which is really the next step after the dark night of the soul, right? Let's take this divine feminine. You're going to have to let something go. Could be an apology. You might have to apologize or accept some shit. Maybe he know what he's talking about. Maybe I ain't on my journey. Maybe what he's analyzing, a for analyzing, is true. He got me. I've been slacking. You know? But I'm still spearheading this situation. How you need to be thinking. I'm still the one that's doing this, but let me do it. Like I say, actions, a for actions, speak louder than words, especially when it comes to pinnacle. Remember that, feminine. As far as masculine in regards to you, he's got the Eight of Pentacles being clarified by the Nine of Pentacles. So he's progressing. He's doing what he needs to do. Okay? He's at Eight and Nine. Feminine, you at Ace and Four. He, he, he a little up, you know? And he's going to go back to the Two. And clarifying, it's going to be a CEO move that's going to bring him back to the Two. I just take that as him lowering his, not standard, but coming down to your level for the sake of coming down to your level after you humble yourself. He's going to humble himself. After you apologize, he's going to show appreciation. Hey, appreciation. 
for that apology, appreciation for that acknowledgement. Might even acquire something, attain something from that. Either way, it's only going to move you forward because he's moving forward. That's why he got you apologizing and acknowledging shit. Because like I said, at the end of the day, he's planting good seeds and getting good fruit from it. And at the end of the day, he's right where he needs to be. Where are you at? Not disrespecting nobody. You ain't wow, who's supposed to be on shit and who's supposed to be on who. Like I was telling a lady the other day, I don't bash masculines. Fuck no. I'm a divine feminine. How could I be a, a male bashing fucking guy divine feminine? That'd be so weak. No. I always take acknowledgement for my faults as a man in this world, in this game. I do what masculines do too sometimes. Because I'm a man at the end of the motherfucking day. Real man at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, hey. You got to take fault for shit. You got to take fault for shit. It's like a Leo. If you ever corner a Leo on some shit they did, they're going to A for admit and let that shit go. They're not going to lie. We omit shit, but we don't lie. That's why when we omit things and they get brought about to the light, it's like, yeah, you know what? You got me. You might get a laugh off doing it that way, keeping it real. But you lying or, or going through 500 other avenues just to cover up another one like that, that's not going to get you anywhere. Moving on, <clears throat> as far as the masculine role, the five feminine, you in regards to the masculine, you got the Ten of Wands being clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. You got to end something you're passionate about so you can boss up. Once again, whatever the fuck you was holding on to. You know, let that go. Just temporary. It's like your divine, divine masculine didn't tell you to throw up the Ten of Swords to that. He didn't tell you to do shit, really. This isn't a Ten of Swords situation. This is a Ten of Wands situation. This is something you're going to have to let go. So you can boss up. You need to boss up because the divine masculine is the King of Pentacles out here. You need to be on the Queen of Pentacles out here, too. What are you talking about? Shit. He started off as the Romeo. And he had to get off that Romeo shit to King up real fast. You got to do the same shit, feminine. Even though you was already king and queen, you got two kings and two queens in your spread. The white masculine got a king, a queen, and two jacks. But he's still pinnacle, the pinnacle process moving along applicably. Right? Masculine. Him in regards to himself, he's just trying to see eye to eye with you so he can do what he needs to do. Let me repeat that. He's just trying to see eye to eye with you so he can do what he needs to do, which is the only reason why he's been squabbling with you from the gate. Going from the two to the three, he's just trying to see how he can get this shit moving along. Probably his tone, probably the way he's coming at you, exposing something you really wasn't feeling and you was kind of embarrassed about it, and then you giving him some flack about it in the process of him just trying to build with you. Y'all building. Y'all ain't squabbling, y'all building. I say that shit all the time. Mark Twain. Like I say, we'll argue in public, but it ain't like we arguing. We just talking. We just really loud, but we ain't loud. We quiet loud and intense and aggressive. It's like we cussing each other out, but doing it in like a nice way. But it's still that aggressive in the nice way that we coming at each other. Because I am so much like myself. He's so much like me. I'm so much like him with the wit that when we throw wit at each other, it's just. You know how somebody say some shit, you say some slick shit. Then they say some slick shit. Then you say some slick shit. But then you say some cold-blooded shit. They say some cold-blooded shit. That's how we get down. Except it's nice and it's broken. But he's a Sagittarius. Can never win with a Sag. They got sharp tongues. They 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 hit to the court. He be hitting me with two, three, four knockouts and shit. <laughs> My whole ego up. I'm a Leo. That's, I got ego issues. You know what I'm saying? He's kind of self-righteous. He can detach himself from things. That's how he can get under my skin, and I get under his skin by just being the rebellious person that I am. Which makes him pissed, makes me pissed, because he's hard-headed, and we just... And that's separation argument. <laughs> I can only imagine what arguments in Twin Flame unions are. You feel me? Moving on. Future. Final row. Going to the future, divine feminine, you're going to have to make a big-ass decision, a big-ass choice, and roll with it. And what that decision has to be is you really taking advantage of your tool sets. 
the fact that you're a psychic, the fact that you're a healer, the fact that you can do Reiki healing energies and stuff like that, the fact that you have, you got skills, shorty, psychic skills, shorty, take advantage of them joints. Just clarifying that, the whole, take advantage of your, um, a advantage of your abilities, so you ain't a Decepticon out here, once again, like you Superman, but you Clark Kenton out here for the sake of whatever the hell you Clark Kenton for. That don't mean you take off in the air and fly everywhere, but if you got to come out your glasses and your suit to save somebody real quick, do that. You got to be a super, because you are a superhero. You got to play superheroes, do it. Say it's their doctor in the house. If somebody's dying, you need to step up to the occasion. Don't be a Decepticon. Don't act like you ain't a doctor when you a whole doctor. Don't act like you ain't a police officer when it's some shit popping off for the sake of whatever. Oh, this is the last year of my job before I retire as a police officer. You think I'm going to put my life in danger for some random niggas getting into it? Hell no. Selfish. Some shit I'll probably do. <laughs> but that's selfish and I probably wouldn't do it. But you don't know. Think about that shit. A cop. Chicago police officer. Black one, we ain't talking about the pale faces, you know what I'm saying? They different kind of breed. But at any rate, not nothing against other races, but they're a different kind of breed. <laughs> so it's just like you're a black police officer, you've been a Chicago police officer doing all these crazy ass shits that's going on and all that. And it's like, yeah, you one year, you ain't trying to die. Not from no random ass argument outside your police uniform. Like when you got your uniform on, it's like, and I'm understanding, this is what he's saying. This is probably the thing he's telling himself not to help people is, man, I, I, I survived this long being smart by not hopping in situations like these, you know? But then again, like I say, you're a whole cop, you're a whole superhero. Some shit happened right now. I ain't saying it's your duty to see about it, but you're most, the most trained, most handled for this situation. You know what I mean? And that's what you need to be thinking about. You're the professional here. Letting an amateur do something when you're the professional around, it's going to come on you. Like I said, with great power comes great responsibility. Feminine. That's why you need to be spearheading this thing here and acknowledging when you're messing up <clears throat> or not on your business. Because you do, you're supposed to be on your business. And then if the masculine points that out, deal with it. Don't get him no flat. But you got to do your job in spite of. And the master going to the future, he's moving fast and fiercely towards his divine direction. And it's like he's moving mountains to get it done. He's moving. This is Seven of Wands. It's a mountain. He's moving that bitch. This is the eagerness of a person who's ready to learn. This is like a, like I say, man, you a Jedi. And you and you a Jedi Knight. You've been training with your, with, your, uh, with your master and shit. And you, it's your first day to prove yourself to be a Jedi master. You're going to be geeked as hell. It's like you was in police academy and shit. It's your first day on the street. you just eager to move mountains around this bitch. you eager to make stuff happen. Like, that's what the masculine is. That's why he's holding you accountable. That's why he's just as enthused as you need to be about this journey of y'all. You know what I'm saying? And let me ask you the first couple questions, and I'm going to wrap it up. What does the divine masculine want to let the divine feminine know right now? He just feels like he's alone. He's stabilizing and he feels like he's kind of spearheading this situation because the Three of Wands is in his section. But he's not really doing it. He's in a self-imposed prison thinking he's spearheading it. But that's how he feels. That he's alone in this situation. Not alone like you're not with him right now. Alone like, damn, what happened to the journey? <laughs> what happened to the, to the path, you know? What does the divine feminine want to let the divine masculine know? You're on the fence about something. What are you on the fence about? Player? Pimpin'? Seven of Pentacles. Rearranging some things. You're on the fence about spearheading this path because you just want to get it in the right direction. The whole reason for the argument. Like I say, it's just a misunderstanding. He wants you to get on your shit. You just want to do the best shit you can do here. You know? And you've just been not delaying, but just been a little indecisive. Or maybe being too much of 
perfectionist with this whole current journey thing, okay? But the universe will let y'all know Queen of Wands, Divine Feminine, burn on all cylinders, okay? Spearhead this situation, okay? Take back this, because Divine Masculine has it. He think he doing you right now. Please take him. Please take your role back and, and show him what the hell this is about right now. Okay, don't let him even think he can outdo you in your own game. It's like people trying to figure me out. It's like you're gonna hurt yourself trying to think think like me. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 hurt yourself. No, just take yours back. Get, get back with yours, which is the 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 flag. You know the baton, and get moving. It's the message that I got. Hope I can be of some assistance. It's your boy D Boom. Stay tuned.